Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we have this car battery charger. It is a 9 hill BTBC 10E. It's a 10 ampere uh, lead acid battery charger. Uh, I got two of these for repair. And here are the specs. I believe these battery chargers get damaged because the users don't follow the, the simple instructions which is first connect the battery and then plug the charger into the socket also you should not try to start the car with the battery charger on So they didn't have the same problem, um, the first one had the sorted uh, bridge rectifier and that's why I uh, removed this one as well but it measures ok. And the problem appears to be on this small uh, PCB circuit that we are going to take care of now. Now about the symptoms, the first one which had the bridge rectifier sorted, it would burn this 25 amp uh, fuse uh, instantly as soon as you plugged it in the uh, power. And this one gives a very low output about 11 point something volts and uh, does not give any current. We will look into that in just a minute. Now about these chargers. Um, although it is a very crude and simple charger without many uh, protection there for the user and the charger itself, uh, they do work very well for lead acid batteries as they pulse charge them and that helps with the desulfation and the longevity. Uh, I don't know, this charger, although it is made of metal, it doesn't have a ground connection. And the only protection is something here. There is not much information on the web about these chargers usable at least except at EEV blog uh, link in the description uh, the, someone even bothered there to uh, reverse engineer this and uh, has a schematic as well uh, although that one does not use the 2N5551 uses the SS8050 uh, uh, I'm going to replace now the um, the transistor on this small PCB, I don't know if it will be easy to film it there. Which, just to see, here we are. So, although it can measure the two diodes in the transistor, uh, it doesn't appear to work the base so let's measure a new one and see if that is different here is the new one nice so let's solder it on Do the same as this one, bend the middle pin uh, a bit to the front. So now it is soldered, let's put it back on here.
Now we'll connect this 50 watt bulb um, as a load. Put a small piece of wood here. And yes, the charger works. By following these extremely simple instructions, you don't run you don't run the risk of the cables touching each other while the charger is. is uh, so, connect the positive terminal. Connect the negative terminal, plug the charger into the wall, and when the battery is charged, remove the charger. So now using our trusty toy oscilloscope, let's check the waveform. It's the rectified uh, power grid signal at the 100 hertz and that's how these car chargers work thank you for watching and see you in the next one bye